what's going on my cancer legacies welcome back to my channel for those that are returning for those that are new thank you okay my loyal cancer legacies please go ahead if the message resonates leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts your comments okay your perspective on the reading hit that like button if you like the message Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get updated on my next video. When you guys do all of the above, it really helps me tap into your guys' energy and provide the most authentic, genuine, spiritual readings possible. And that's what I'm here for, right? I came to this park to go ahead and be in a more quiet, solitude place, okay? No distractions, no noise. As I'm saying this, of course, a jet is flying above me. But let's go ahead. I'm going to do a you versus them reading. I'm going to go ahead, pull your spread. I'll clarify and then pull some advice if need be. Okay? My Cancer Legacies. To begin your reading, we're going to be doing an Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck message. I'll pull one at the beginning and end of your reading. And let's just get into your reading and let's see what's in store for you this week. Let's shuffle the deck primarily. I'm like totally being a tree hugger right now, okay? Tree lover, and I'm not hating it one bit. I love the hippie vibes. Like, do you like these shorts? Tie-dye, black and white. It's like, moo. Where the cows at? Where the, where the cows at? If you like it, Wait till you see it from the back. What's Doja Cat song? You know what I'm talking about? All right. That's the song I was just hearing, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead. Let's shuffle the deck. Okay, I'm gonna split it three parts. Let's go ahead and see what's in store for you. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please give me the card for cancer. You know, I have a friend from Oklahoma, a friend from New, New Jersey or Long Island, and their accents every now and then will just creep up on me and I'll just be like, you know, let me get that angel message. Or in the Brooklyn, 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 or a Long Island accent. I, I mean, honestly, if I try to do it, it just doesn't come out right. But if I'm not trying, I'm like, why did I just sound like that, you know? Okay, so we have Protection Guardian. Drop your shields. Drop your shields. Drop, drop, military, crawl through, crawl. Drop your shields, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to drop any shields of shame, resistance, and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun. Know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts you have. Cancer, you were born to shine, okay? You shiny star, you. The Protection Guardian is a feminine version of Archangel Mike, Michael. She is fierce, protective, yet loving warrior angel who carries an indestructible shield, okay? Captain America, okay? Superwoman. Who carries an indestructible shield of power and protection and will come to all who call on her. She will help you drop your fear-based shields and move into a loving, protective force field that will keep you safe, but will allow your gifts to shine out. Although she is here to guard you from lower energies, she is completely relaxed, serene, and confident because she trusts that love will always 
prevail. You may have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past, but this is but that is not your present. Angels are drawing close at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that make that may be making you feel unsafe. Know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way. Call on your guides okay, for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time. You are stronger than you think and your angels and ancestors, ancestor guides are here to help you realize this now, okay? This message is from your angels and ancestors directly to you to inform you that you are protected to drop your fields, drop your shields, drop those barriers that you have around your heart, okay? Be transparent, honest, and vulnerable, okay? I feel like you are constantly defensive, okay? You may be resistant to change is what I'm hearing, but they are asking you to lower to high to increase your frequency okay and to cast away any lower energies but to remain the ones that allow you to shine like the shiny star you are cancer okay protection guardian i call on you to increase these frequencies around me at this moment in time to increment myself to protect myself in this protection field of protection guidance and spiritual awakening increase the frequencies around me at this time at this moment for my cancer legacies Raise the frequencies, raise the wind. Let me feel the wind blow against my face. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's just jump into your reading. This week, I'm gonna be doing you versus them, okay? I'm gonna pull a few cards for you on your spread, a few for them. I'll clarify and pull some advice if need be, okay? I'm gonna be using the Tattoo Tarot, okay, to pull for your spread, and I'll be using the Light Series deck to clarify, okay? Let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, angels, please give me the cards that I need to see for my cancer legacies, okay? Give me the spiritual guidance. The protection force, the protection field around their energy. Please guide them and protect them at all times and allow them to express their eternal gifts that you were that you granted them. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. A message is being directly delivered to you, okay? I'm strongly feeling like that is in regard to right now, okay? Uh, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups, and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, let's pull cards for them. Give 
Give me the cards for them, for Cancer Spam, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, with the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess with the Chariot as your overall energy, okay? We have Temperance with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, I strongly feel like I don't really need to clarify. I may, be, may be pulling some cards for advice, okay? What I am seeing, okay, Cancer, is there's this higher calling, this higher knowing. I think you know what that is, okay? I strongly feel like you are aware of what your higher purpose in this world is. It's almost like you were presented to a pretty extraordinary, unusual style of living that was honestly different from what it was prior, okay? Like this time last year, the life you're living today is like 180 degrees different, right? Black and white, okay? Night and day transformation. You are living in this high priestess energy, okay? This change came in quickly and it's continuing to change quickly, okay? I do see you having a change of home, change of environment. Some message is being delivered to you, okay? I'm seeing like this is an opportunity for growth. It's like you have several options here with the Eight of Cups. In regards to your emotions, you may be emotional at times. Okay, I do see a strong trio of friends with the Three of Cups. I'm seeing a celebration, a reunion. You may be moving in with three roommates, okay? With the Four of Swords, I do see you being in your head a lot, okay? It's almost like you're trying to figure out who really is there for you and who is not, okay? It's almost like you're consistently reminiscing on the past, thinking, did I make the right decision? Okay, here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is spirit saying, okay, that you were presented with this beautiful opportunity to make your life better, okay? This is spirit saying to not take this energy for granted, not take this opportunity for granted, and to remember to treat others as you wish to be treated, right? And with that same love and respect, I feel like some people may extend their hand out to you more than you do for them. And I think it's starting to show, okay? Like some behind the scenes uh, difference is what I'm hearing, okay? It's like behind the scenes, you know, I'm gonna say like this, but in all reality, I really feel this way, but I'm just gonna say this so I don't appear bad or I don't appear, you know, to hurt your feelings, right? It's almost like you're thinking you're protecting their feelings, but they are but they notice the dishonesty. And I think that is what uh, is pushing them away because I feel like they feel as if you're incapable of being honest with them and that is worrying them because that is all they seek from friendship is honesty right so with the eight of swords for them cancer okay i do see them being blindfolded to a situation being slightly depressive okay i'm strongly feeling like there's no communication you guys haven't seen each other in some time okay i do see you being more so uh, nonchalant, insignificant about the separation with the Knight of Swords, okay? It's almost like they're dealing with their inner demons here with drug or, and or alcoholism, right? Some toxicity, some uh, codependency with the Page of Wands, okay? 
I'm seeing them being in some page energy, okay? It's not a court card. It's them just being a page, a page of being, okay? It's like they're not really giving you what you wish, but they're not really denying you what you wish, right? It's like they're working on their finances to be able to hang around with you more, Cancer, is what I'm hearing. And once those finances come into play, they're going to come charging towards you like the night that they truly are, okay? So let's go ahead and pull one last final angel message for you, Cancer. Give me the card that I need to see for Cancer's final message. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> like I was telling you, it's almost like you were trying to figure out who had your best interests at heart. I love doing these cards before and after my reading because they really show how accurate my readings are, right? Okay, so this says arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy, which you're already doing here with the per or with which with which the divine is already doing for you that you may not notice. Okay, let's go ahead and read what it's about. Okay, we're learning here together. New oracle deck. We've only used it a handful of times. Surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe. Call on your angels, guides, and ancestors to bring you protection, okay? Arrows have long been revered as symbols of protection as many native peoples would use the bow and arrow as a weapon of defense. When an arrow appears in meditation or dreams or an oracle reading, it's a sign you need to protect yourself and what is important to you. This doesn't mean that people are intentionally wanting to hurt you, but they could be careless in their choices and actions and this could affect you. There are energies around you that could lower your vibration and it's important you become aware of them and aren't brought down by them. If you are in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems trust your intuition cancer there are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals or with kindness follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust if you can take time to retreat or to step out of this situation to assess what is going to be beneficial for you do so in any event this is a time to call, to call, to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. Okay, so that concludes your reading if you like this reading leave a comment down below let me know how the message resonates hit that like button subscribe if you liked this reading there's several others that are will be coming in advance okay please go ahead when you guys do that it really helps me tap into your guys's energy fail you guys out and really provide the most authentic genuine spiritual humble readings possible are you spiritually fit, Cancer? Are you truly spiritually fit? Are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll say you are.